welcome to Nora's Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today we're going to be doing our paycheck budget, um, paycheck to paycheck, weekly check-in for me. Um, but as usual, we'll go over last week's budget. So matter of fact, let me, I was supposed to do this before starting, but I'm going into my A6, which is my everyday carry. And 1370. I thought I said 1350. It's 1370. I ended up making $1,370 last week, opposed to $700. And also, I ended up making $131 in, or is that $400? $131.75 in Norris Cove. Um, I'm not really counting this as income because that's going right back into the business. So, but I'm proud to say we've sold some boxes. Um, this is just my little card here. The budget box ends tonight at 12 p.m. This video will be up before then. So if you are interested in the budget box, there'll be a few boxes left. Um, you can order tonight before 12. Also, um, if they're like gone and you don't see any, hit me up on Instagram and my DMs at Norris Cove. If there's some left, I'll let you know if you'd like to get one and I will um, send you a link on there, all that great stuff. So let's add up this income here. We're just going to take this out. And then next, I'll be having my November budget come up for you all. Um, oh, wait a minute. We're not adding that. But let's add up what did get paid. Let's do that. So um, we did pay Capital One $30. Well, $300. We gave them their $300. That was actually kind of... Yeah, that was last week. Um, PayPal got $30. And State Farm didn't pay, they'll get paid in a couple of days. I didn't see GoDaddy come out. It may come out tonight. And then Booth Rent got 250 So our total bills was 580 And I know y'all like, oh, Sheila, where's the rest of the money? Child, I cannot begin to tell you. Who knows? I don't know. I'm sure I paid something that I forgot or whatever, but I'll look back. I'm sure I got a note somewhere. Oh, yeah, it was my daughter's birthday. Um... Yeah, I gave her some money for to help her out. She had a little party, so um, that helped her out. And then we made thirteen seventy um, in total income. Okay, and total bills ended up being five eighty. And so I'm not even going to do the subtraction because. It is what it is. But at least we made over and we wasn't in the negative as we originally thought. And that's what I say. You know, sometimes it appears that I'll be in the negative, but I don't. And I'm going to show you guys something in my planner that I've been doing to kind of help me with basing bills. Oh, I know what else I did. I also paid. I had some afterpay things for the business. And so I paid on those. So this is what I've been doing. This is what I did last month. These corner stickers. These are some old ones from my shop. But I put these down on the week that I'm going to be busy. But it looks like I got them off because last week ended up being busy. So this week is supposed to be the busy week. But it turns out that has moved. So I've done them here. And here, um, and once I find this sticker, I'm going to put it down for the week that is actually busy. So I'm going to be putting it here and just probably here until I figure out which one it was. But um, yeah, so that lets me know which busy week is and then how I can pay my bills. I've already scheduled my um, first of the month bills. They're already scheduled. I hopped on that. <laughs> I did that. Um, and, and then like next week, if there's something that needs to be paid, that needs to be scheduled. And... Obviously, this is going to be the good week again. What I'll do is I will go ahead and pay uplift. Like if the first of the week is busy or Friday is busy, I'll pay uplift and I'll pay chase. So, and Canva comes out. Okay, so enough of that. Let's just hop right on into this. So, we are working with, I just looked at the calendar. Uh, let's see. We're going to do November the 1st through the 6th, okay, and our source of um, income, we have here, 
Norris Cove and miscellaneous already for miscellaneous um i've made 55 dollars so i'm just going to put uh, 55 dollars and that helps me out even though it's kind of part of hair i helped my co-worker today and i had like 20 dollars in tips and i made 35 with her hair i'm just going to stay at 700 that seems to be a good place um because subs are ending um i'm going to leave it at zero it may do something because right now I'm so focused on the budget box. I have some things I want to create, but I just can't get them done. So we're going to leave that like that. And let's go into all the bills that are due. So over here to the side, I have my um, bills that I'll be um, writing down for this week. So we have CMP. I still did not print some new, of these, new ones of these, but it's okay. So we have CMP. And they're due, it said the second, but I'll put the second, and it's $38. Next up, we have Amazon. They're doing the first, and I think they're like $15.77. We have community due on the second. And community, I gave them $30. I've already scheduled that. And I do know that it's going to be $30. No, that's going to be $38. I just not, I'm just not sure about Amazon. And Shopify, I saw that. That is like $35. <clears throat> Excuse me. Shopify is like $38 and some change. So I'm just going to put $38 and I'll put the actual amount when it comes to it. Um, Shopify is trying it. Like, they keep moving my date further and further back. They're trying to get money out when they're not supposed to. I originally started on the 8th. Then they moved to the 3rd. Now they're trying to get it at the end of the month. Uh, no, Shopify. No. Anyway, Walmart is due on the 4th. I've scheduled them. And they were 28. So I know it's going to be that. And then Credit One. I can't wait to get out of credit card debt. And I'm just trying to, like, get my money together so that um, I can eventually get out of debt. I got to get back to my cash stuffings. And so I know I gave them 30. So all those things were scheduled. Credit One was scheduled. Walmart was scheduled. Community was scheduled. Again, um, Amazon and CMP comes out on their own. And Shopify, I just need to pay them. And then Booth Rent. And so this 35 here, I'm going to put a slash, 35 goes towards my booth rent. I just thought I'd take it towards my booth rent. And that should leave me at 215 that I would owe this month, this week. So, yeah. So I'm just going to do a little calculating and see um, how much bills we have this week and what we can afford. We have a total of $394.77. $394.77. I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. Now, I want to do $100 for um, sinking funds. I'm going to go ahead and just put that down here. So let's pray. I'll be able to do it because the week is looking pretty good. Oh, I shouldn't subtract that. So let's subtract the 700, well, 494 from 700. That leaves us with $205.23. That sounds about right. And again, I'm not including anything for Norris Cove, which I'm actually getting a check today. That might have been a check from last week of the 131, but with the percentages and the fees, it's going to be like 124. I sold some digital products. Um, digital products are doing really well. Um, they're just slow. And I actually have my thing set up for daily payments. And I have to tell y'all something else. So let's see, total income is 700. Let me just focus for a minute. I got to focus seven hundred dollars, and our total bills was three ninety four. 
77 okay and that is about it so we'll come over and do the actuals next week but um while i'm putting this up so what i did was i had a loan in my business last year like all this only for like 500 dollars. so they take a portion of my sales which works fine that way i don't have to worry about paying a bill monthly so by me having it daily they take another portion of whatever i sell well i want to pay them off i only owe like 150 something more dollars so i'm thinking of maybe adding them to my budget this week so that way i can go back to weekly payments and i was doing daily at one point when i was just low you know income but i would love to see a lump sum and maybe they would take it you know if possible i don't know but uh anyway i want to um pay them off so that when i need to close the shop for maintenance i can because like with that setup and that loan i cannot close them um to like do maintenance so i have to do maintenance while the shop is up and running and people are purchasing products i'm trying to take out so i'll be glad to be done with that loan um I really need another one, but another one would do me great. But, um, yeah, so I'll be doing that. And this is this week's budget. It's not looking too bad. I, I can handle this. I really can. Um, here it is here. I don't have any more birthdays. Not till next week is my mother's birthday. I still need to get her a card. I'll put that on my regular list. But this is this week and what it's looking like. Again, only like $400. $100 towards sinking funds and yeah that is it so we'll do a review next week to see what i actually made um new products will be coming for norris cove um after the subs go out then those products will probably show up sometime in december i'm not sure and then i'll have a major announcement probably in my next video so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload new content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.